Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today we are once again going to be doing some more stuff in the Crystal Hollows. So, uh, you know what? Let's just get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so because we were unsuccessful yesterday with the Nucleus runs, we were short one Devon Frag from having the full amount of frags that we need for the entire uh, Armor of Devon set. So what I'm going to do today is me and Tio are going to run some Nucleus runs again. And by some, um, what I mean is we're going to be doing 50 Nucleus runs, which is kind of crazy. It's a lot of runs and it's going to take a long time to prepare. I'm currently just here in the Dwarven Mines grinding for some Goblin Eggs. I'll need probably like three stacks of them. And then after I'm done with the eggs, I need to go grind for parts. So currently I am, yeah, very low on parts, especially the transmitters. So I'm going to have to go and try and get some. And now my luck has been really, really bad with killing automatons. So I think what I'm going to do is actually try to powder mine and you can get them from the chest. So we are now Heart of the Mountain tier 6, which means that I can actually use some perks that will give me like extra chests and mine extra blocks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna adjust my tree in a little bit after I'm done with this. And hopefully we can um, get parts that way faster rather than killing them because killing them is just not really working for me. So yeah, hopefully this will be better. Alright, so if we now have a look at our Heart of the Mountain tree, you can see that we have reached tier 6 and we're already 34% towards Heart of the Mountain tier 7. And with these 50 runs that we're about to do, we are actually going to reach that. So uh, that's going to be very nice to have. But we now also have 4 extra tokens of the mountain that we can use on any of um, these perks. And what I want to go for is Mole so that it mines extra blocks. And then I want to go to the right, get Fortunate, and also Great Explorer, which grants us plus 20% chance to find treasure, so the chest. And then I also want to get the mining speed one, so over here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to mine in Precursor Remnants, so in here. And the reason why is because from the chests, you can get Robo Parts. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing two things at once pretty much. So now as we mine, if the game will let me, we we are mining extra blocks as you can see, like I'm mining a decent amount of blocks. And uh, as we mine, we will get treasure, hopefully. And from that treasure, we can get robo parts. And uh, that's, yeah, that's our goal for today. Just get as many robo parts as I can for the 50 nucleus runs. Hopefully it won't take too long. It might, I don't know, we will see. If uh, I'm not getting lucky with the chests, I might go into the city and just try killing robots instead. But I want to see um, my luck with this first. There we go, I just got my first part, not too bad. And I've been here for maybe like 10 minutes. And we already got as well, let me check. 13,000 of each powder, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this and uh, we'll see how many parts we can get. I'll probably do it for an hour and then compare it to an hour of grinding parts through uh, automatons and we'll see. And I powder mined for about an hour for the parts and it wasn't going that well. So I ended up going back to the precursor city and just killing the automatons instead. And then me and Tio decided to try and leech some gazing pearls from the flares that you can find find at the Crimson Isles. And uh, yeah, we needed them for the Glistening Reforge and that's exactly what we got. And how many of these do we need? We need, we need 40 of them for 4 Reforge Stones. 40 pearls. And then we need to do a little bit of Glowstone Mining. It's up to just like skim off the wall. I got one! Thanks for waiting for me. Hey, the guy killed it, not me. Thank you for waiting for me. Oh? I have 10! What? <laughs> you randomly gave me a kill? I didn't even get a chance to... <laughs> I'm still at 8. So, how do I craft this now? 
Uh, you need, yeah. Oh, so we just need a bunch of glowstone now. I need two more. He's attacking you. How could he? Okay. I can craft oh. it. Yep. There this we go. This needs to be exclamated in guild chat. Shiny prism times one. Boop. Mm -hmm. And then we need to go dungeon hub. That's 12 mining fortune. We're so putting it on black belt, right? Yep. Alright. Boop and boop. 150k to apply? Who do they think Don't I think am? About it. Don't think about it. Don't think <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's for the mining setup. 12 fortune. Oh, look at that. Nice. Alright, now we gotta go get mine set on tools. And after we gathered all the tools, we started doing the Nucleus runs. We were gonna do 50 runs, but then I actually realized that I was 14 runs ahead of Tio, so I ended up doing only 36 runs while Tio did the 50 like we originally planned, so that our Nucleus runs would be lined up. Um, I don't know, <laughs> we just thought it would be nice to have them lined up, I guess. And uh, I know the past few videos have had so many Nucleus runs, so I've decided to not show every single run this time around. But I did pick a couple of clips that I thought were worth mentioning, so uh, here is that. On my third run, I got my final Devon Fragment, so for the 33 runs we had left, it didn't really matter what we got anymore, as all I needed was the Heart of the Mountain XP, so that we could get to Heart of the Mountain tier 7. But, of course, I wouldn't say no to like a Quick Claw or the Vaughn's Alloy or something like that. Of course, it also wouldn't be a day in the life of Red, aka me, if I didn't get some Jader ults. So, uh, yeah, even though I don't need them anymore, I uh, still ended up getting a few. I also hit Mining 35. And then mining 36. And then I reached a huge milestone when it comes to mining, and that is Heart of the Mountain tier 7. We now have all the tiers unlocked, meaning that we can get a proper tree for powder mining, as well as the tree for when we want to mine gemstones. And this was very convenient, as Mayor Jerry was getting elected, I think, a couple of hours after we did these runs, so it was perfect timing. We finished the rest of the Nucleus runs, and I think on my last run, like literally last commission, I reached the commission milestone 5. I still haven't claimed the fourth milestone, so I had a bunch of mining XP that I was able to use to level up my Bow Pet. And it was also enough XP to get me to mining 37, which is kind of insane considering I haven't even done any proper mining yet. And then if we look at the loot that we got, the ender chest page 3 and page 6 is what I got from doing these 36 runs. I was also able to craft my second flawless ruby, which means that we only needed 6 more to get the gemstone gauntlet. And obviously the 9 more enchanted gold blocks. And that is exactly what I was gonna grind for once Jerry got elected. So yeah, we hit Heart of the Mountain tier 7 and therefore we finally unlocked all the tiers in our Heart of the Mountain tree as well. So I went ahead and upgraded it to Mining Speed 2 and Fo Mining Fortune 2. So now all we need is to max all of these out with powder. And the way I'm getting powder right now is through just mining in the jungle because we will need so much sludge juice to craft all the gemstone mixtures that we will need for the Vaughn armor and the artifact of power and all the other stuff. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And then also Mario Jerry is now elected. So you can see up here I have a little timer that will tell me when this stuff is gonna spawn. So right now it is currently ready. So if I mine some more hardstone, it should start spawning. There it is. It's a purple one this time around, so if I hit it and kill it, it has like a hit phase, so like, I don't know. The green one has, I think, three hits, then the blue one four, the purple one six, and the yellow one seven or something like that. I don't know. Could be wrong, but like, it, it's a different amount of numbers. And uh, then you basically get these jerry boxes that I have in my hotbar right now, these ones. And you can open them, so they're free to open. And you get a... 
random thing out of them you can get like skill xp or money or a talisman or jerry sheen gun like there's a bunch of stuff that you can get and uh, the one thing that i'm mostly looking for is the jerry talismans and we will need so many of them because if we look here jerry talisman this one so you get green ones from the boxes and then you need to up upgrade it into a blue one so you will need five green ones to get one blue and then you need five blue to get one purple and then i'm pretty sure there is an artifact as well yeah so you then need five purple to get one golden jerry artifact so uh, yeah a lot of presents a lot of um opening boxes and seeing if we can actually get the talisman and uh i've been grinding it for a little while so we now have what is that 11 green ones 10 blue ones, 3 purple ones, and 2 golden ones. So it hasn't been too bad. And uh, obviously I am also powder mining at the same time and getting juice for the gemstone mixture. So it has been pretty productive. And uh, I'm going to be doing this for the next couple of hours. And then we have a fishing festival in 3 hours and 15 minutes, which I'm going to be attending. And then after that there is a mining fiesta in 15 hours as well that i will be attending and we're gonna start our grind for the gemstone gauntlet with these jerry boxes i'm gonna save them up uh, until like jerry ends and then we're gonna open all of them at once so i won't be opening them as soon as i get them i'll just save them and uh, we'll have a massive unboxing at the end <laughs> so during the fishing festival nothing too crazy happened so i don't really think it's worth mentioning i think i got one megalodon pet which uh, is 500k so yeah, that was nice, I guess, but other than that, I had no luck with great white sharks. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get any more teeth or anything like that. But uh, then it was time to do the mining fiesta. So let's get straight into those clips, shall we? So I didn't record the start of the mining fiesta, but I've basically been mining away for about two hours now and maybe two hours and a half even. And I think we are very close to being able to craft the gemstone gauntlet. I think if I probably empty my sack, I have enough, maybe. I'm not too sure, but I think I do. So let me use this speed boost and then we'll compact all the stuff together. And uh, we will see if we have enough. I think we should. This is very exciting as well. It's uh, a huge upgrade from a Picanimbus. I know I could have been using the drill, but like for some extra fortune, I believe. But I think the Picanimbus is just a lot faster, so I'm using that at the moment. All right, let me quickly compact everything. Wait, let me warp Tio actually, and then let's let's compact this. Five hundred and eleven thousand. Let's see. This should be way more than enough, I think. All right, here we go. That is all the roofs done. Now to compact all the flawed ones. And let's see. Oh yeah, we definitely have enough. Oh my goodness. So many finds. Look at that. We have eight stacks and 13. And we need six more flawlesses. So uh, let's start crafting, shall we? So I'm just going to do this, I think. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh my goodness. I have everything. I can make the gemstone gauntlet. This is crazy. This is absolutely mad. <laughs> I can craft it. I can craft it. I can craft it. <laughs> I haven't crafted yet. I haven't crafted yet. Okay, okay. Oh my god, it's right there. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Here we go. Three, two... One. I have it. I have it. I have it. We got the carpentry. Was that 40? 
I have it. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> now uh, we need perfect gemstones on this. We also need to get pristine books. So there's still three hours left of the mining fiesta. So I'm going to go ahead and en enchant this. I'm going to get a uh, compact on it. I'm going to put fine uh, gemstones on it for now. I think I have. Wait, let's see. We have, oh, actually we have a uh, flawless topaz, flawless amber and flawless jade ready for this. So I'll go and apply these. Very, very exciting. Uh, let's do slash ET and let's uh, put stuff on this. So uh, this is actually, this can actually be used as a weapon as well. So there's all these other enchants that you can put on that normally go on a sword. But I'll just be enchanting it with um, stuff for mining. So, uh, let's see, fortune. I don't think I have to put fortune on because I will be putting on a fortune four book, which is this one that we got from Nucleus Run. So if I do a V quick and apply this, we have, yeah, beautiful fortune four, efficiency five, smelting touch one. And then I don't really want to leave right now because TOD seed, so I don't want to lose this lobby. So I will wait and then I'll go and buy the compact as well from the community store. And then obviously we have to apply all of these gemstones. Okay, so it turns out I actually do have enough for a flawless sapphire, but I'm gonna save them because we need them for gemstone mixture. So that's something that we're gonna work uh, on after we get the pristine books. I also can get pristine two i think already we go i crafted some paper and if i go ahead and take i think it's 40 per if i'm not mistaken there we go and we go ahead and craft it like this yeah so pristine one and another one gives pristine two let me also combine all of these pristine books so two and put it on the gauntlet Beautiful grants plus two pristine, which increases the chance to improve the quality of drops. Beautiful. The slots should be unlocked. Yes. I don't know why this is so weird, but here we go. Jade, Amber, Topaz, Sapphire, and Amethyst. Beautiful. I can't wait till we get the perfect on that. It is going to look so good. And there we go. We finally have the gemstone gauntlet. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is going to be our main mining tool for quite a long time until we get the titanium drill ready. So uh, yeah, we're going to be upgrading it, getting those perfect gemstones on it, as well as we're going to start working towards getting the Vana armor, which is going to be very exciting. We have so many mining fiestas to come. And uh, yeah. I think this is gonna do for today so i hope you enjoyed if you did consider subscribing or maybe even liking don't forget to join discord down below and i hope you all have a good rest of your day evening morning whatever it is and i will see you in the next one bye